From WJCT Studios in Jacksonville, Florida, I'm Ray Hollister. I'm Tom Braun. And this is Deemable Tech. The Deemable Tech podcast is brought to you by A Small Orange Homegrown Hosting, a refreshingly different approach to web hosting on the web at asmallorange.com. Got a question about your computer, smartphone, tablet, or the internet? You can give us a call at 1-888-972-9868 or send us an email at questions at deemable.com. Well, we're back. It's 2014, the future. Happy New Year, Ray. Happy New Year. It's not the, it's not the future, though. The future starts next year. Really? In that's when we go to the future. Okay. It's October 2015. <laughs> that's when, it, that's when the impact of the future. Oh, okay. Yeah, back that's to the like, future. That's a movie reference. Yeah, it? yeah. Okay. Right. Uh yeah, so it's the new year, and uh, you know if you're in the tech journalism industry, you are legally required to make predictions for the upcoming year. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's wh- Where is that written down? It's in the Constitution. It's in the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you okay. know what really <laughs> you know, know. bugs me when people do predictions They're so at the They're so forward-thinking when they wrote the Constitution. They were. They really <laughs> were. <laughs> they were like, what if there's this thing called podcasts and... And, and tech. And tech bloggers. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. George Washington. Um, no, but uh, yeah, so I, I hate it when like, you know, people never call all these pundits and journalists and whatever on their missed predictions. So right. I thought we were going to be better than that. We were going to stand above the crowd. We are going to trot out last year's predictions. We could stand on the crowd. We could. Last year's predictions and right. see how they stack up. And for an impartial judge, we have our producer, Sean Birch. Hey, guys. How's I don't know if he's impartial. Yeah, I don't know if I am either. But I will say I am super excited about the flying cars that will come next year. Yes. Oh, yeah, they are. Absolutely. According to Back to the Future Part 2. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Who, what was the dealership? Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't remember. And hover, hover skateboards. You can, and we'll be able. Be the best part yeah, is you not only do you can you buy hover cars, but you can get your car modified. Yeah, you can have it converted. You can get your to, flying uh, car conversion to a hover car. Um, well, not, didn't he get the Mr. Fusion thing from the future as well? He did, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. so that re- yeah. means that fusion technology will oh, happen yes. this year. Yeah, That's going to be revolutionary. And it's going to be so uh, Mr. Fusion. I mean, yeah, it'll cut so down on uh, trash, landfills. Yeah, I mean, We're going to be able to throw that stuff in. The greenhouse problem will be solved. Yeah. All the good stuff is going to come out this year because it has to be here in time for next year. It does. It does. Yep. Yep. And we're all going to be wearing like inflatable clothing. Anyways. And a cafe 80s that will be coming next year. <laughs> a nostalgic look at the 80s. <laughs> hey, that's pretty plausible. I mean, it actually is. That's probably cafe the most plausible 80s. thing in that movie. And, you know, 80s fashion has come back. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They predicted that. <clears throat> that was accurate. Okay, Ray, let's uh <laughs> let's talk about our predictions. Let's go yeah. over your predictions for 2013. Oh, we got to start with mine. Yeah, yeah. All right, do. fine. All right, Ray, the first thing you predicted and Sean, you can <sighs> tell us if you think this happened. You predicted that Apple TV will finally come out. <sighs> yeah, I did. Yeah. Um I thought it was going to happen. It has not come out. I mean, yeah, there it's the, cut and dry. There's the thing, the the device Apple TV, yes, right, but right. The, not a TV That's not what from I was talking Apple, about. yeah. I mean, I was definitely talking about a real screen. Yeah. yeah. Or or at least it be upgraded and and modified to be mm-hmm. more feature film. Strangely, uh, Roku device. is basically doing that. Yeah, Roku's really rocking it. They're doing great. Are, are they, they coming out with a TV? There are going to be Roku TVs. They're oh, showing them yeah. at the uh, Consumer Electronics oh, oh, Show see, this yes. year. Um, yeah, this week. Yeah, there's another rule in tech journalism that you cover the Consumer Electronics Show. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I just... When I when I first thought of the concept of Deemable, I wanted to do before it was even Deemable Tech. When it was Deemable, mm-hmm. I was like, I just can't wait to go to CES and see all the stuff and cover it and you know write stories about it. And you know we just haven't been able to afford to go yet, so yeah. I'm just like, forget it. We're not even going to talk about it. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> to be honest, the stuff that debuts at CES tends to have very little forward impact yeah, on well, the industry. I, there are exceptions. There the are Pebble, exceptions. There's, uh, yeah, I don't know. But I mean, there's, there's a lot of exceptions. I think a lot, of, a stuff lot of crap, that, too, though. P- yeah, there's a huge amount of <laughs> yeah. crap that comes out there. But if we had gone, we could have seen Michael Bay's... That's right. Oh, meltdown. meltdown. <laughs> yeah, so if you didn't get to see this, uh, Google search Michael Bay Samsung Meltdown. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, I, don't know, I don't even know what the context of it was, but for some reason, director Michael Bay comes out yeah. on stage. He just lost you know his the place with a teleprompter I, I, and freaked out and walked off the yeah, stage, yeah, I basically. Don't, I don't know exactly why it was him, but I, I read something that said, you know, he's been very shy about, like, lending his, like, you know, sponsorship of things. Sure. 
And I guess he really oh. liked whatever TV Samsung was coming out. I think it was a 4K yeah. TV. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, as Tom just said, like he came out, started talking, teleprompter went out, and then he just <laughs> just booked I'm it. out. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. He, he may do. as well have just flipped two birds and said, yeah. "Nope, nope, yeah. nope, nope, nope." I would have liked it if he just dropped the mic and just left. <laughs> he Bay practically out. did. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it was. I, I was really surprised, and, I, and it's I, funny because. I mean, when we did One Spark, mm-hmm. we had a presentation. That's true. And we prepared, like, we had it on paper. Yeah. We had it on oh, both yeah. of our phones. We're like, no matter what, we're going to be ready for this. And sure enough, your phone went out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so we ended up going back to paper. But yeah. I mean, like, how do you go and give a major presentation without a backup plan? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, know. three by five cards, man. Yeah. Like, I know. I mean, tech. We love tech, but you know, tech doesn't always work every time. Exactly. All right. Uh, let's, let's, let's. All right. Let's, let's, get, let's, let's get back focus. to. Yeah. Let's focus. <laughs> let's We're talking about focus. Ray's failed. We're, we're only on number one prediction. <laughs> yeah. We need to keep on track. <laughs> yeah. Let's go through these quickly. All right. Uh, Ray said, "iOS seven and iPhone five S or six will come out." Got it. Yeah. Boom. Both of those. Uh, uh, yeah. I, iOS seven I did have come it right out. here. I have That's both. True. And the iOS five S, or I'm sorry, the iPhone five S came out. iPhone five S. Yeah. There it is. Boom. I'll Got give it. that to you. But that's a gimme prediction. And and the, it was a gimme prediction. And the it iPhone five C. Well, a, I, uh, we'll, we'll come came back out. to that that because Tom had a prediction that mm-hmm. almost came oh, true. Oh, okay. All right. Well, what are my other predictions? Uh, you said Google Chromebooks are going to destroy the laptop and PC market. Um, I mean, mm. not exactly, but they're getting there. I, well, they, I feel I, like they haven't quite set the world it, on fire. I'll say, yet. I'll say that's a fail. Um, yeah. it, at least it's a sixty uh, percent fail. It hasn't destroyed the market. There are definitely new Chromebooks out. It's not there dead are. by it's any stretch. Definitely not dead. They've made some. Some impact, yeah. but it hasn't been. I, I don't think they, as much as you thought they would. I, and we'll talk about it in my predictions, but they have made a, a significant impact in education, um, and we'll talk more about that later. Yeah. Got so, it. what's my next one? Uh, you said Windows Phone will continue to fail miserably. Yeah, it's it. I mean, is it getting better? I don't I'm know. Gonna, I feel I'm like it's getting up. better. It, it's getting better. Yeah. I, I don't think it has declined. No, not at all. Um, yeah. It has not increased drastically, but, but you know, uh, well, the, I'll talk the, about the more of my prediction for 2014. Lumias, the Nokia Lumias are actually decent phones, yeah, and the fact I think that fact is making an impact. People yeah. are seeing a, a phone that has a distinct design aesthetic that does a couple things well and that has Windows Phone on it, and they're buying it. Actually, not yeah, numbers, now, but. now that you mention it, that... Um, you know them buying Nokia last year. Yeah. Was it last year? Yeah, 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 I think so. Then, yeah, that that proves that they they're mm-hmm. probably on the upswing if they're going to buy that company. Yeah, and and like I said, I I don't I will I don't know if we can call that one cut and it's dry. It's a gray yeah. area. It's yeah. gray. I wouldn't it say it's failed miserably. Yeah, it hasn't failed miserably. It hasn't done very successful. Yeah, they so didn't we'll, they didn't buy Nokia completely, right? They just bought the. They bought the phone, phone division. division. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Let's. Well, uh, right, what else have I got? This one you did a little better on, I think. You said BlackBerry's maker Rim will be dead, sold, or on life support by the end of 2013. BlackBerry 10 comes out this year. I definitely got that part yeah, right. It did. <laughs> BlackBerry yeah. 10 did come out. Uh, and I absolutely think you're right. It's on life support, very yeah. much so. Yeah. yeah. No, and they did try to sell it. I mean, that, they yes. they tried to sell as much as they could, and nobody, everybody was like, fact, uh, no technically, thanks. Technically, Rim is dead because they are now renamed BlackBerry. For some reason. That's true. Oh. Yeah, it's no longer Rim. It's BlackBerry. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I grant you that. But yeah, um, I, I think that they are... I have a prediction for that for 2014, too. <laughs> so we'll, we'll come back to okay. the prediction part. You said, and this is more of a... <laughs> I don't know if this is a pop, tech pop prediction. <laughs> you said, in Once Upon a Time, the TV show, it will be revealed that Henry's father is Balefire. Boom. <laughs> I, <laughs> he was. And you know, I didn't even remember this. I went back and listened to the prediction show, and I was like, what? Because back then, I mean, we had no idea. I have but, no idea who any of these yeah. people are. I thought you watched Once Upon a Time. No, I've, I've never seen an episode. Oh, Once Upon no. a Time is incredible. I'm not going to go on too much of a tangent here, but the show gives us incredible backstories to all of the fav- famous uh, fairy tale characters. And in every character, I've been so impressed how they've woven the stories together, like how Rumpelstiltskin is the beast from Beauty and the Beast, and Whoa. how he is the what? crocodile from Peter Pan. Um, so I just ruined it for you. Big TikTok. spoiler. Too late, big spoiler. But those three, like how he's all those. The only character that I've been... I, 
I love what they did with it, but I don't think it was good, is how they treated Peter Pan. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was very true to the nature of the character that, that Peter Pan was. And uh, Peter Pan was pretty evil and horrible in, in Once Upon a Time. Hmm. And they kind of ruined him. And uh, uh, right, from now Ray, on, Ray. okay, you're talking Ray. a lot about Once Upon a Time. <laughs> it's yeah. such a good show. You this should is, watch. This it. is a TED podcast. Ray thinks that. you should watch Once Upon a Time. I got it. Let's move on. Yeah, yeah, and tune in to my Once Upon a Time podcast <laughs> that I'm never going to do. Uh, Deemable once. <laughs> Deemable once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the interest of equal time, Ray, would you like to read my predictions for 2013? Oh, sure. right. Before we go mm-hmm. and move on, I, there's there is one more prediction of Ray's. I thought that was all of them. No, it says 2013, the year we make contact, <laughs> which I say it, it's a fail, Ray, because everybody knows 2010 <laughs> is the year that we made contact, according to the 1984 film that is a sequel to t- 2001, <laughs> A Space Odyssey. Oh, okay, so you were telling me this before the show, <laughs> and I thought you meant the year that the movie oh, no, Contact no, no. was made. <laughs> no, that would, what, what, what year was Contact made? 97, 90s, yeah. yeah, 97, 98, something like that. Was it set in the current time? It's 97. I yeah. think so. Yeah. It was a, Matthew yeah. McConaughey was in that? Yeah. I do not remember that. Matthew McConaughey and Jodie Foster? Oh, yeah, and it's Jody based Foster. on a, oh, Carl Sagan wrote yep, that. Yep. Oh, I did, oh, do things I didn't know. Yeah, and I actually think the movie's better than the book. But anyways, really? okay. moving on. <laughs> moving Not on. tech-related. Okay. Um, all right, so you predicted that Apple will introduce an iPhone 5S, which mm-hmm. comes in two or more sizes mm-hmm. and more colors than just black and white. And There was a lot of truth in that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you weren't exactly right. They did. I was they, wrong about the form factor. Yeah, right. the, the iPhone 5S did come out and the different colors, the 5C. but it was the 5C. Yeah, and you know, it, oh, yeah, and it also came out in gold. Yeah. I don't have oh, the yeah, gold. Yeah. I don't know why I raised so that. So technically this isn't you, you did get the, uh, yeah, the color part right. Now, huh? I didn't officially say it as a prediction, but I did say that I thought that they were going to drop the 4S mm. and it was just going to be the 5, the 5C or whatever mm-hmm. and Something the 5S. Else. Yeah. Um, or no, maybe that wasn't the prediction show. That was a different episode. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, um, but that was that was wrong. They kept the 4s. So there is still two or more sizes. The 4s is still mm-hmm. around. Yep. But uh, I, I, yeah, I think substantially. I knew that wasn't going to happen. I was like, nope, 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 nope. Well, the colors. I was right about the colors. You were right about the colors. You were, you were, and I was this whole thing. I was, I was pooping the whole poopooing. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never heard someone say that out loud. No. I was poo-pooing something. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, it definitely was in more than more colors. A lot of colors. Yeah. So many colors. Bright, eye-blinding right. colors. Yeah. I mean, the idea is they, they, I wasn't right that they, I thought they would go to a smaller screen size and they didn't. But I, yeah. I was just getting behind the idea that there would be a cheap iPhone. Yeah. I was hoping that they would make a seat. bigger phone. Yeah. I a was bigger. hoping a, a bigger, like, you know, Galaxy an Android. 4 size. That'd be nice. All right, so your next prediction was that Facebook will make lots of users mad with some boneheaded site change. And I Have will, they done it this year? I will oh, give yes. it to you because I, I know there's been several, but... I wonder if you're thinking of the one I'm thinking of. The most recent one I'm thinking of is it automatically plays yep. videos yep. on people's oh, timelines. Oh, that's right. That happened last year. <laughs> so, right. uh, yeah, I'll give that to that's you, Tom. Definitely, no, that, that was, was my gimme question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was my gimme prediction. Yeah, that, that's an obvious Facebook one. Facebook is reliable when it comes to this crap. Now this was one of your uh, your goofy quest- your goofy predictions. <laughs> Michael Bay will release, an, and this is actually totally believable. Uh, Michael Bay will release an action-packed blockbuster based on the card game Uno. Turns out that's believe- actually what he was going to announce oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at the Samsung right. event. That's right. Um, so you got that one right. Yeah, I, yeah, I, right. <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah. No, not really. Just an, <laughs> just a big publicity stunt for the for Uno, Uno movie that's coming out. This year, because everyone everyone rage quits Uno. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> yeah, right. if, if you look very closely at the footage from him at CES, oh. he throws an Uno card down, <laughs> and he says Uno as he's leaving. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. All right, so let's see. Your next one was Google will release its own super phone through Motorola. Nailed it. I- did that happen? I have no idea. Moto X. Moto X. <laughs> the Moto X is pretty much a super phone. Yeah. Okay. I'll I mean, it's not. Too. It's not the best. It's not. Yeah. You you were basically saying it was going to be a flagship phone. That's true. Top of the line Nexus quality. Right. They did go to and kind of a more middle tier than I think yeah. everybody expected. That was a surprise. Not I didn't think they were going to even make a smartphone. Right. Period. Well, that's that's what yeah. you said. But that wasn't. That um, doesn't affect your prediction. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but uh, but I like to rub it in when you're extra wrong. Um, yeah, so they didn't quite go. I guess Super Phone might be overselling it a little bit. It is a nice phone, and honestly, if I were going to go out and buy an uh, Android phone today, I'd probably pick up a Moto X. But um, yeah, yeah, um, call it a watch. I I um I was surprised when that came out, uh, mm-hmm. and and I. I know some people who actually work for Motorola. Mm-hmm. Um, I found out that they work for Motorola because they were posting about their new neck Motorola. Uh, uh, Moto X. Moto X, yeah. They're like, oh, I got my Moto X. I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why would you pay that much and not get a Nexus? I don't know. Okay. But, um, but yeah, ended up they work for, for Motorola. That makes sense. So, yeah, yeah, it does make a lot of sense. <laughs> They're actually pretty cheap. If phones. I worked for Motorola, I'd definitely get a Moto yeah, X. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can buy them off contract for surprisingly low. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they're they're good price. All right, so your next one was, I will finally be able to pay for something using only my smartphone. And you clarified that one easily. Yes. Yeah. I don't know Not about so this much. One. I really haven't paid for anything using my smartphone. Have you, Ray? Um, I have. I mean, I, I use the Starbucks app. Yeah, there's the Starbucks one. I, so I, I would give this to you because yeah. they, well, there, that was around at the time. Was there? No. Or was it? I don't know if you've used it, but there is a way to pay... Not to retail, mm-hmm. but like if I needed to give you twenty bucks, yeah. there's a mm. really super easy way to do it. It's called Square Cash, mm-hmm. and you literally just tap on it. Like if I was going to send you money right now, type in twenty bucks, no, not two hundred. Go ahead. Yeah, attach <laughs> attach to email and just type in your email address, and it's done. You nice. Can, you can well demonstrate it. Send us both yeah. twenty yeah. bucks. <laughs> we we won't believe it works yeah. until we actually see it, Ray. If you send it back to me, I'll do it. <laughs> But no, the way it works is um, you get an email right. that says, Ray just sent you 20 bucks, huh. click here, and then you enter your, your debit card, and boom, you got the money. Very nice. Wow. wow. And then you're signed up for Square Cash, yeah. mm. and they send you a link to the app. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's really super easy, and I've used it like three times, and it, it works great. Cool. But it doesn't work with retail yet. Yeah, so. See, and I think I was going for retail yeah. is my memory of this. That's That would be the good so way to do I it. I would say no. Yeah, it's, it seems it's, like we're just on the cusp, and it shouldn't be hard, but it just hasn't gotten, gotten there. there. It just, yeah, it still hasn't quite happened. I, th- I think people are moving towards it, like Starbucks, and yeah. uh, there are other ones. I can't remember who, but... Yeah, there's a lot um, of different apps that do it. I mean, there's the Google Wallet app, yeah. um, which you can use with NFC on the Android devices. But, uh, I, I, I mean, I've, specific seen, I've seen, like, specific ones for stores, like Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, and there's the, this, there is this, the regular Square app. <clears throat> yeah, it's actually. Which, if they take Square, they can take right. the Square yeah. wallet I do that app. all the time. You know, we have a thing called the Riverside Arts Market oh, here yeah. in town. And mm-hmm. Most of the people in the booth back there have Square. I uh, got my haircut Saturday, paid uh, the my uh, haircut lady with Square. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's funny. I've, I've used Square wallet at about five places, and two of them knew what it was. So I'm like, <laughs> you see my face down there? Yeah, just click on my face. <laughs> like, how do you know my face? How'd you get my face on there? It's square. How'd you get my face? Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> you a, are you stealing my soul with that camera, sir? <laughs> All right. Yeah, what, so, let's, uh, what's my last uh, prediction there? Your last, last one year? was Windows Phone will double its user base from 10 people to 20. <laughs> Which I, I was, was a little more bullish than you were, though, yeah. I got to say, in my defense. <laughs> yeah. I thought they would get bigger. Yeah, and and they have they've yeah. they, they definitely yeah, have at least twenty. I'll, you know. I'll give it to you. I'm sure yeah, they've yeah. they've uh, gained popularity. <laughs> I have to say, I have a coworker who is extremely an extremely enthusiastic booster of Windows yeah, Phone, and he yeah. keeps bugging me to have him on. So we okay. might have to do that in the uh, future. That's cool. We can do it because he feels that we are extremely biased, and uh, that's true. But we only are. because Windows yeah. Phone is awful. <laughs> we are. It makes me want to throw up. I mean. <laughs> Now, I've let said me, this before uh, on the show. It let makes me just me physically uh, nauseous. tally up the scores here. It okay. looks like it's a tie right now. I think oh, really? you guys, uh, I really wasn't keeping scores. <laughs> I don't know. The score is This Google is what Google. we pay you for. <laughs> oh, wait, I haven't paid you anything. No. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the current year, 2014, All right. the future. Ray, All right. do you have some predictions? I do. All right. And uh, Sean, you said you have some predictions I, also. I, yeah, I have, a, I have a few as well. Sweet. Okay, let's start, start it up. Start? Yeah, go for it. All right, I say this with trepidation, <laughs> but it's a repeat of last year. This year, 2014, <laughs> the Apple TV will finally come out. <laughs> you don't sound enthusiastic about it. I'm that. not really confident in it. Um, I want it to come out. That's why I keep sure, bringing it up. Yeah. I think it's going to have a nice screen. I think it's going to be like, I think it's going to be a 4K. Mm-hmm. 
Um, when the Apple TV comes out, it will not come out unless it's 4K. S- considering at CES, hmm. all the 4K TVs were really the big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, I could see it coming out at WWDC, uh, the Worldwide Developers Conference, in June, if they're ever going to flip and do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hope they do. Um, I won't buy it, but I hope they can. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm in favor of it, too, because, you know, I've got a newer TV, and so it's sort of a semi-smart TV. Yeah. And, and I have a smart, quote-unquote, Blu-ray player. And those interfaces are awful. They're horrible. There's so much room for somebody to fix that. And yeah. I, I don't really care if Apple, I, I, like I said, I probably will not buy an Apple TV when it comes out, because mm-hmm. it'll just be way overpriced. But I want Apple to influence the industry. Yes, yes. Because just like Android got so much better after the iPhone came out, because mm-hmm. it was crap before the oh, iPhone yeah, came sure. out. It was some BlackBerry-looking garbage. Mm-hmm. I just want them to to influence Vizio and Samsung and get them to design the UIs yeah, better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the market for a TV right now, and it's almost Super Bowl season, so I want to get it yeah. soon. And, man, they all... Are garbage. I mm-hmm. will say, um, I I own a Roku, mm-hmm. and I will say the interface for that is is actually very good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. For everything that it does, it it works very well. It's fast, um, very intuitive. And easy I think that's the idea behind these Roku TVs that are rolling out is that yeah. basically they take the box, puts it in the TV, so yeah. the interface yeah. is a part of the TV now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it happens. And you know, after reading the 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 bio of uh, Steve Jobs. Mm-hmm. He specifically talked about, you know, he'd broken the code for the perfect TV UI. Hmm. Uh, and so I I really think it's going to happen. And I'm, I'm just hoping it comes out in 2014. Hmm. But I won't be surprised if next year where I'm like, dang it, it's still not air. <laughs> All right. What's your next prediction? The iWatch or the Apple Watch will finally be released. Okay. And again, I think it'll come out in June. Um, I think it's almost time for it to be here. Okay. The the much predicted. I think it's good. This are just kind of bonus points. These are not these are not my prediction, um, but this is what I think will happen. I think it'll definitely play music. It'll be like an iPod Nano. Sure. sure. Yeah. Um, I think it'll have like motion track tracking. You know, like the the Jawbone Up or uh, those uh, the Nike, Nike Fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it'll. I think what will set this one apart, except for everything but the Pebble is that it will have apps. You'll be able to download apps for it. Okay. Um, Of course, it'll have multiple watch faces, and it'll be Bluetooth. And I think it will be iOS only. I do not think it will interact with with Android devices, Mm. which isn't too shocking for them. No, I would be surprised by that. It might sync with iTunes on Windows, but (laughs) that'll be about it. Uh, I don't think it'll interact with an Android device. Now, I do have to ask you... (laughs) You do have a Pebble Watch. I do. Ray yes. Hulse, I got you, it. I got it Ray, recently. Our Ray Halser rocking a smartwatch you, today. You are wearing it right now. I love it. Um, I got it the other day. You know, I've been looking at the Pebble since it was a Kickstarter back, I think, in 2011. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, finally, a watch that does something. Because I couldn't bring myself to buy, spend like a hundred bucks for a mm-hmm. watch that mm-hmm. just was a watch and you just pulled time on your wrist. Yeah. yeah, I needed to do something. Um, the funniest part was after I got it, it was about. Three or four days before I stopped looking at my phone to check the time, mm. <laughs> nice. I kept pulling. Oh, dang it! Now and it also sends like <laughs> you can read texts. Every there. every notification that I get on my phone can show up on my there. on my on my wrist. See, um, and that's so like I get the... text messages, phone calls, um, and and even like apps. If I get mm-hmm. a Facebook notification, boom, I see it. And it's all through Bluetooth. Yeah, it's it Bluetooth low energy, so it doesn't kill the battery bad. Hmm. And what's really nice is you know. My wife hates my phone because I'm always on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what really happens is I get a notification and I need to act on it or I just want to clear it. Mm-hmm. And I go to clear it and then I get distracted and I look yeah. at Facebook and a half right. hour yeah. later I'm reading something on Wikipedia. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so what's great about this is I can it still links to get Wikipedia directly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Um, it pro- there's probably an app for it that does. Um, there's an app that lets me check the current price of Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> oh, smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's how much it is now. <laughs> okay. Don't know what I'm going to do with that information, but there it is. Um, but anyways, uh, it lets me clear those notifications, and I don't have to pull my phone out. Mm-hmm. Now, it doesn't actually go off of my phone, clear it off my phone, but I, I know I got the notification. Boom. I don't care about that right now. Clear it, and I move on. But if it's important, I can go, oh, I need to grab my phone. I need yeah. to, mm-hmm. to react to that. Like, now, I got an important email. I've been wondering about this. Uh as you both know, and maybe our listeners know, I do not own a smartphone. Oh. 
Uh, I own a feature phone, which looks <laughs> yes. just like that. Oh, it's um, beautiful. <clears throat> would, does it work with feature phones? Does it have to I be a smartphone? Know. Because I, it would be great if I could read texts. It's got an app. Um, it has an app, so yeah. So it's, you have to have be a smartphone. To, mm, I'm yeah. thinking. I'm that's off the top of my head. I, I know it works with iOS and Android. I don't even know if it works with Windows Phone. Yeah, I haven't seen all the uh, uh, di- other um, you know smart watches that I've seen. I who just came out with one? Uh, was it Samsung? Samsung has Samsung. the Galaxy, Galaxy Gear, which is Gear. Awful. Yeah, I think that's that's when I saw like I, I saw that it it's only with like oh. Android or. The Pebble Watch offers unofficial Pebble Watch Pro app offers unofficial Windows 8 support. Hmm. <laughs> so there is an app for Windows 8 that will let you use it, but it's unofficial. Hmm. So okay. But that's one nice thing about Pebble. They actually at CES they just announced uh, two new ones. Uh, the Pebble Steel, it's a uh, brushed stainless steel and matte hmm. black. Hmm. Um, and they're gorgeous. They're an extra hundred bucks. Uh, this one is one fifty, and those are two fifty. Wow. Um, but it's of course like everything in tech. It's thinner. It's lighter. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's really nice. Um, and they also just announced the App Store. There are going to be a, a slew of new apps, like from Mercedes and from, uh, of course, every tech device has to have sports scores on it for some reason because. <laughs> Tech people are so into sports. Yeah. <laughs> it's like every new device that comes out, they're like, you, you can look up sports scores on it. I, what? Uh. Sports and Bitcoin. Sports and Bitcoin. Yeah, and Bitcoin. That's all, right. all that matters. What is your next prediction? Randy? My next prediction. I don't know why I have a robot voice. For 2014 <laughs> is, and this is a clarification on something I said for 2013, <laughs> Google Chromebooks are going to destroy the educational laptop and PC oh, market. Yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, actually, in 2013, they took over a 20% margin of the educational market. Wow. And it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, for a cheap laptop, you can't beat it. It's it, They're mm-hmm. great. And also, the biggest problem in schools is controlling what they get access to. Mm-hmm. And it's super easy to control what they get access to because all you have to do is change the router. Yeah, filter the web. On the, yeah, and you're mm-hmm. done because yep. they can't install anything on it. <laughs> um, right now, though, the iPad still has the biggest margin yeah. with like 35 or 40%. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that they're just going to destroy the iPads. Mm. They're, they're going to knock them right out of the park. Um, I don't think people are going to buy iPads except for very special cir- circumstances. It's an expensive way to go, that's for sure. Yeah, it is. I mean, it makes sense as a book replacement, mm-hmm. but I don't think schools are really interested in doing that because the book industry isn't that crazy about it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, do, you think, do you think there will be a Chrome tablet that will... Uh... Ooh, that'd well, be intriguing. I mean... I mean, there's already the I've got my Android, Nexus 7 yeah. here, you know, and that's... I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't think that they would they would mix that up too much. Yeah. I think that's a... Yeah, they might see those cannibalizing their own. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Like, I mean, there's really nothing stopping them, because they definitely have a... I guess if you want to do an ultra keyboard. cheap tablet. I mean, you could. Well, there's no there's no keyboard on screen keyboard with Chrome yet. That's true. Mm-hmm. Unless it's hidden somewhere in there. <laughs> but that would you could do that. it. But yeah, I, I think that that next year they're really going to get into it. There was even a, a not a Kickstarter. It might have been an Indiegogo, um, but but some sort of crowdfunding thing like that, where this teacher in California, he realized that his students the the laptops that they the cart that they had was so horrible. It was missing keys. Mm-hmm. They were broken old XP machines. And he found out that his kids were writing their papers on their smartphones hmm. because there's no point in trying to use the laptops because yeah, wow. they were so bad. So he did this thing to try to raise money for his students to get Chromebooks. Okay. And I think it was successful. I'm not sure. Uh, but I was like, that really is indicative of yeah. how how important this is. Yeah. To have cheap laptops. That's true. Remember a while back there was that hundred dollar mm-hmm. laptop and it like never really came to fruition. But like now you could just drop the price of the Chromebook a little bit and boom. Yeah, you be there. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. My next prediction was that Windows Phone will seriously pick up some steam and become a serious contender for third place in mobile operating systems. Wow, this is a change of heart. It is a yeah. change of heart. And you know what? I'll tell you why. I went to the Microsoft store. <laughs> that place rocked my socks. Really? I was impressed. 
Um, yes, they blatantly copied Apple. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, is, <laughs> it is a blatant ripoff of the Apple retail store. Which Do they have geniuses or something? They have some people who seem smart. We are Microsoft <laughs> yeah. smart Every, people. Everybody wears a polo shirt. They do. In the Microsoft yeah. store. Um, they even have lanyards yeah. with a little thing hanging off of it. It's oh. really blatantly. <laughs> but one thing they got yeah. that Apple does not have is in the back of the store, gaming. Mm. Gaming competitions. And um, uh, yeah, that, that was really, I, I'm thinking about getting an Xbox now because <laughs> I want to participate. Um, but yeah, I went in there and honestly, they have improved so much. <laughs> um, I was playing with a lot of Windows 8 uh, laptops and tablets and, mm-hmm. and Windows Phone 8. And it, it's really a lot better. Cool. Um, and I think that they're, and they're it made really you less pushing. nauseous. It did. I, I've actually got a copy of Windows 8 Pro, 8.1 Pro. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be installing it on my new MacBook uh, to try it. Uh, I'm going to partition the hard drive and put it on there. Um, just to get some experience on eight and uh, see if it like makes me less nauseous. <laughs> okay, great. All right, uh, number four, five, five, number five. Come on, we got a Bitcoin. Uh, I believe that Bitcoin is going to crash next year what? Uh, and get to m- very small amount, maybe like thirty bucks. I think it's right now. It's in the seven hundred dollar range yeah, yeah, it's, for Bitcoin. Wow. I see it completely crashing next year and completely coming back to the level it was prior to the crash. Hmm. at least once next year because it's just so volatile yeah it's, it's all over that. the place it's, it's done that now if you, if times. you don't know what bitcoin is it's a virtual currency virtual digital currency mm-hmm. um it, google search it and we'll get into <laughs> it it's, it's a lot to get into we might yeah, do I really think it'll, so on it sometime yeah, yeah i think it'll really it'll be much more in the public mindset because it's going to be all over the place mm. and then 2015 i think it's going to level out and start being a legitimate uh, hmm. currency. Hmm. I have doubts there. Because what will happen is because of the crashes in 2014, there'll be lawsuits and there'll be regulation. That's what I think will happen. I don't think start you can really regulate it. Um, oh, you can regulate anything. You can, but I mean, it's... it's <laughs> you a, can pass all the laws you want to. <laughs> it's got a certain code that can't really change be changed without it not being Bitcoin anymore. Yeah, but, but. the use of it and the... It, I, I think it can be regulated. We'll see. Uh, okay, so for number six, uh, BlackBerry will not make handsets anymore by the end of this year. Mm-hmm. I don't think they will make phones anymore. They're just going to be a software and services company, kind of like IBM. I mean, IBM does make some hardware still, mm-hmm. and that might be what BlackBerry does, like enterprise hardware. Mm-hmm. But I don't think they're going to make phones anymore. I think that'll be that'll be the direction they go. They're going to focus on getting it on, you know, pushing out services for iOS for businesses and yep. Android and Windows Phone. Um, I agree. Because Windows Phone will be a c- serious competitor by the end of this next year, this year. Now, I told you before the show, we can't <laughs> talk about this one for too long. Says the guy who just went on a ten minute once upon a time <laughs> tangent. I- I'll give you ten minutes. <laughs> That's it. I cut- I'm cutting you off. It wasn't that long. I- <laughs> I'll just say it right now. I believe that in 2014, Edward Snowden is going to be extradited to the United States and prosecuted. Okay. Why? I'm not saying that he should be. I'm not saying that he shouldn't be. I'm just saying I'm I'm certain it's going to happen this year. Why do you think that's going to happen? Um, I think it's going to happen because of all this NSA. They need to show strength. Mm. Well, they need um, to. They need to show. I think they need to prove that you know that what he did was wrong and what they're doing was right. And I think that that's going to be part of that. I don't know if that's going to blow up in their face. Yeah. I mean, this is a pretty far out well, there prediction. I mean, yeah. far, well, I mean, it's not that far out there. I mean, he's in Russia, and Russia's A, that's big, what they say. and B, likes to stand up to the U.S. on things. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. But, you know, there's also those pesky Olympics over there. Mm-hmm. And uh, that means there's going to be a lot of foreigners over there. Yeah. From all different so countries. So you're not saying extradite so much as kidnapped. <laughs> Well, it's not kidnapping if a government does it. Okay. <laughs> it's called extradition. Well, that's different. <laughs> so what you're saying is Edward Snowden will be uh, <laughs> competing in the 2014 <laughs> Olympics. Yes. In Sochi. <laughs> I, I think he is our our uh, the the, dan- the skate ice skating dance. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> figure there, skating? Yes. There's a really geeky figure skater out there. We'll know what happened. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so, okay. yeah, I, I, think that, I think he'll end up... 
and I don't know. Like I said, I think it might blow up in their face. Hmm. Um, well, I think a lot of people protesting. Well, that of course, yeah. But uh, I think that possibly prosecuting it might blow up in their face. Mm. Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, there's you know, I don't I don't know if he'll be extradited. I mean, I guess it could happen. It doesn't seem likely to me. There's been some talk, uh, especially just the past couple weeks at the beginning of the year, several major newspapers had ed- editorials saying uh, grant amnesty to Edward Snowden, and I don't see that happening. I think at least the Obama Not, administration's been made it pretty clear where they stand on the situation. Mm. So he definitely, if he does it at all, he will not do it until 2016, uh, just because that's typically yeah. when presidents do that, the end of their their yeah. two terms, because uh, otherwise it'll bite them, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> politically. Uh, but I just think that it could be. I'm not saying that he'll be found guilty. Mm-hmm. I'm, let me be clear on that. He'll be prosecuted. Because it's quote unquote the right thing to do, mm-hmm. but they got to get him there first. That's they got to get him, and that's and I think that's that'll kind I think it'll happen. Okay. I think uh, yeah, uh, they just got their their hands in so much. Obviously, as we found, you mm-hmm. know, that's I true. think they can make it happen. So my next prediction is that Minecraft will become the new Doom. So you know how everybody says, you know, whenever some oh, new yeah. device comes out, eh, can it run Doom? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it always is like, as soon as you come up with a Hello World, mm-hmm. <laughs> the next thing you do is get Doom to run on yeah. it. Yep. I think that Minecraft might be the new Doom. It might be. You know, they'll they if but they have to open source it or mm-hmm. get some. You know, Mojang, the company that makes it, has to make that possible. Um, but it's kind of like how Angry Birds started coming out on everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Angry mm-hmm. Birds on your toaster. Is <laughs> <laughs> Angry Birds on your refrigerator? I mean, there there is a lot of Minecraft merchandise out That's there true. as well. Um, you can put Minecraft on your yeah, refrigerator. You, you, can, you can buy <laughs> toys yeah. and everything. But I think I think that'll be the new Doom. It'll be the new thing that everybody installs. Yeah. On every new type of hardware, <laughs> just to see if you can do it. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw my next one in my list. I don't remember typing this. But car talk will be replaced by the more relevant flying car talk. I think we're a year off, like I was saying, we're next still, year. It's going to be 2015. 2015, that's when the flying cars will I, come. I might have inserted that. That was actually on, on the list last year. and I just, uh, It makes me laugh every time I see gotcha. it, so I had to bring it back. All right, my, my second to last prediction. I'm going to skip my... Second to last, and do my last one first. Okay. I think we're going to see a Motorola Nexus next year, this year. Yeah, that I think, makes sense. I think it could happen. Ne- I would not have believed it last year, but this year, mm-hmm. after the, the success of the Moto X, I think that, yeah, they could do it. I think everyone will be ticked off about it. Oh, yeah. But uh, That's the tricky thing. Is it might be kind of an, you know, a big F you to the but other I mean, hardware vendors. They've done, who have they done Nexus with? They've done uh, LG. LG. Have they done Samsung? I think, I Sa- I think they did Samsung. I'm not sure. Now they have the Play editions, which are almost Nexuses, and mm. so it's, it gets it gets, gets a little fuzzy. Yeah. But I, I think they could do a Nexus as long as they just did it for one year mm-hmm. and then moved on to another manufacturer and said, "No, this is the next Nexus." Mm-hmm. So that, that then it would work. Um, okay, so that's okay. that's that prediction. My last prediction is that Apple will become a virtual network operator. Now that's like uh, Virgin Mobile or Metro PCS or Straight okay. Talk, um, where they're basically renting time yeah. on somebody else's. Yes, yeah. mm. they're not really running it themselves; they're just leasing it and right. selling it to their customers. Because apparently, they actually wanted to do that in the past. Hmm. Really, that was their original plan. Okay, um, and then they decided to partner with AT and T. I do think it'll actually be on the AT and T network, just yeah. because, just because. Um, Unless possibly something works out with this whole Sprint T-Mobile thing mm. that's looking at, like it's going to happen, but then again, but then after Apple does it, Samsung's going to do the exact same thing six to eight months later and claim it was their original idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and it's going to look exactly like Apple's network. <laughs> all right. So I, it would be interesting if you could buy an iPhone with service all from Apple. Yeah. You didn't have to deal with a carrier. You just dealt with Apple. Because their mean, customer service is have, pretty have you fantastic. Read rumors of this kind of thing going on? Because to me, it seems um, like a, a pain that Apple might not get a whole lot out of. You know, I think I I think um, Tech News Today was talking about it, hmm. um, and I was like, "Do yeah, that would make sense." Because hmm. lo- right now they're losing. <laughs> Can you can you do that again? I don't yeah. think so. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> Actually, that's like the perfect sound for that sort of realization. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh yeah yeah <laughs> um, yeah. I I don't know. I 
there, I mean, there's definitely profit to be made in it. Oh yeah. Um, and and right now they're losing money to the carriers <laughs> <laughs> that you know, and Apple doesn't like to lose money to anybody. That's true. And they don't like to deal with anybody. Um, they don't like anybody affecting their customer service. Because mm-hmm. when I complain about my iPhone, half the time it's because of my carrier. Sure. <laughs> not to <laughs> not to be named. Not to be named. Um, yeah, it's my carrier that's really the problem. Mm-hmm. And yeah. if they are in charge of it, they can scream. You know, like if they're with, partnered with AT and T, they can scream at AT and T and say, uh, "You need to up our bandwidth. Mm-hmm. We got customers who are complaining. Do mm-hmm. it." And they'll have the the wallet to say, "You have to do it." Yeah. So I, I, I could really see it happening. Well, I'll just go ahead and say raised territory, uh, carrier, it's redacted. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. I'm done talking. You tell me what you think is going to happen next year, Tom. Okay. Uh, my number one prediction is that the Oculus Rift VR virtual reality oh. headset will be released to consumers, and it's going to make huge, enormous waves yeah. in the game industry. I thought it was already released to consumers. It is not. Oh. Um, they've been... Uh, so this is very did interesting. They kinda, did they do like the Google uh, Glass thing where it's just developers? Yeah. No, it? but they've been refining it. Let me give okay. uh, people a little bit of context, because not everyone's a tech nerd like me. Yeah. Um, or you guys, apparently. It's okay. Oh, crap. I just stepped on a wire. Sorry. Oh, don't do that. All right. Okay. The <laughs> Oculus Rift. Uh, so basically, you remember VR from the 80s. It was supposed to be the future. Uh, well, guess what? It's still the future. Um, <laughs> but somebody's been working on a version that's actually cool. Basically, this small company uh, wasn't even really a company. They just started taking uh, smartphone screens since smartphones have gotten so yeah. high res and messing around with them and seeing what if they could plug them into the front of kind of a helmet doohickey. And they <laughs> have... a doohickey. Yeah. They've actually... Uh, m- managed to pull off what is apparently i've never gotten to try one out myself but apparently some really impressive tech it is i've, I've seen a couple of demos of it and it looks really I- I- awesome it's yeah really so great what the kind of hold up is you you talked about you get nauseous when uh you use windows 8 and so vr could be a real danger zone for you ray oh. um because basically latency if you think about you know you can turn your head pretty fast oh right and if the screen doesn't yeah. quite stay in sync with how fast you're turning that causes your brain to go like, whoa. You know, there's a game called uh, Beachhead uh-huh. uh, that's in arcades, and it's this thing you pull over your head, and you turn, you shoot. Right. And I, I experience exactly really? that. Yeah. It has it has these, it's big screens, but they kind of shrink down to your eye size with magne- or magnifying lenses. Mm-hmm. Not magnets. That'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It just vision with, with magnets. magnets. How do they work? <laughs> with magnets. <laughs> That's no. like from the 50s, everything <laughs> with magnets. Yeah, so uh, with magnifying lenses or whatever. Um, but that I had that same thing where like you mm-hmm. could turn your head fast, but it wasn't mm-hmm. wouldn't catch up with you fast yep. enough. They yeah. call that latency. Mm-hmm. And so the big challenge for Oculus Rift has been to get that latency as low as possible. And uh, apparently they have really just kind of cracked it. Mm. I, I mean, they're, you're talking cool. milliseconds that they're trying to get it down wow. to. So they've uh, they've added some stuff that that basically hopefully will solve that problem. So now it's a question of can they package it cheaply enough, yeah. and you know that it's attractive consumers, and also it can't be super complicated. Or yeah, I, I have right. to say I like the Oculus Rift more when it was called the Nintendo Virtual Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Virtual Boy, didn't you? Yeah, and you know how they... You're the only one. <laughs> I know. I bought it after it was actually already discontinued. It was a failure. Yeah, and I was like, oh, man, I'm going to get the Virtual Boy. Oh, this is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever want to play Mario Tennis again. <laughs> but it was really cool. I mean, it was three-dimensional. and yeah, like It's a strange idea. The weird part I was... I think it was the, bad, the worst time to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The weird part was... It was three dimensional, but you only moved on a two dimensional plane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like you just moved like this uh, on the tennis court for right. the game. Back and you know? forth, side it's, to side. Yeah. It's but, like, why does this but, need to be 3D? You know, <laughs> I'm just realizing now that Nintendo never gave up on that. Like the 3DS, we have that they now. Want so. it, you know, they want to do 3D. <laughs> they want it so badly. Yep. All right. Number two for me. Someone will make a phone with a curved screen that is not completely stupid. <laughs> that would be nice. That yeah, would be nice. I've only seen one curved screen phone that made sense, and it didn't really make sense that much. Yeah. But it was like where you could lay it on its face, because everybody wants to lay their phone on their face. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially if it doesn't sit flat and it rocks. Yeah. Um, but it was curved on the face. Right. And so you could like rock it up to see a notification. Hmm. Interesting. And, like, rub it across the table. That's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good idea. No. Yeah, there's been two curved screen phones out so far, and neither of them have made a very positive impression. So, what would a, what would a curved one was phone... curved like vertically, and the other was curved kind of horizontally. Why would it be curved vertically? I don't know. That, that's really one of those ones just to say they did it. Yeah, like, look <laughs> at us. We did a curved phone. It what doesn't is... fit in your pocket anymore. <laughs> yeah, what is the advantage of having a curved phone? It Why do people looks cool. Yeah. Because I, I can understand, like, the whole curved glass thing in making it a watch sure. or something yeah. like that. Made, that made sense. I didn't say that, but I do think that there'll be a curved glass uh, screen yeah. on the, the, the watch, the iWatch. Yeah. I meant to say that. But I just, um, like, if you were making it so it was curved to fit your jawline or something like that, yeah, that made, maybe. make sense. Um, they yeah. also are talking about, not even so much on the phone as a whole, but you could have the screen curve over the side, and you could actually have that be kind of a notification oh, bar. Oh, okay. That That's makes an idea. sense. Okay. So there's, I guess, a few different applications so, for it. So would it be curved, like, this way, like, long way, or would it be curved... Uh, well, not, the phone... To the body side. itself the wouldn't actually be curved. It would just the screen it's, would actually the flow glass. around okay. the edge. Oh, okay. I could see that. Because yeah. there's one thing I saw. Uh, somebody was doing a CES, you know, uh, show. <laughs> it was Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Bay. No, uh, actually, it could have been Samsung. Um, that they were showing the uh, the screen was curved on the TV. Yeah, um, and it was kind of yeah. concave. That actually is Samsung. So, so it really could have been Michael. Oh Michael man, it might have actually been that presentation. Supposedly, <laughs> <laughs> it might have been that. Supposedly, that gives you a vague 3D effect. Now well, it, I'm skeptical. It also makes it more uh, more people can see the screen at the same time and get a better view. Well, if they stand in the middle, I guess so. So it would be curved, it's curved inward, not in, outward. Yeah, inward, like, yeah. Uh, like an IMAX screen. Right. Right. Yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's got that. Somebody I think it might have been Samsung. I actually have a TV and it's like fifty thousand dollars, so forget it. Fifty thousand dollars. But it actually goes from flat to curve, like it can change. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. And, uh, and you know, if they had a phone that can do that and do it well, that might be interesting. Because like yeah. you said, if it could actually curve to fit your jawline, and then, but then you want to like put it in your pocket and put or put it on the table and yeah, stuff, and exactly. then you want it to be flat. Yeah, so yeah. if it could change, that'd be cool. But I don't know if we're there yet. Yeah, I want I want folding folding screens. That would be great. I want digital paper, and I want it now. <laughs> All right, it's not going to happen, but I want it. Uh, my next prediction is Nintendo will release a new version of the Wii U without that dumb <laughs> tablet controller, so that people will actually buy oh, it. I hope so. No, I want that, but do you think it'll happen? You really? Do you really? Yeah, I, I feel like Nintendo's smart enough to know when they're beating a dead horse, and the Wii yeah. U is a seriously dead horse right now. I don't now. know. Uh, I mean, the 3DS is still out. The 3DS no, and it, the, it sells. The, the 2DS. People, <laughs> the people, 2DS. People buy games for that. Yeah. Okay. yeah the, the 3DS, I, I have to say it is popular. Maybe it's sort of waned in popularity since it's come Wayne. out. Or, mm. but, I mean, they've know, been whatever. through several form like, factors. No, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I've been through several form factors. Like, like, like Sean word. just said, they have a 2DS, which actually takes it, flattens it out, yeah. and kills the 3D ability, and they it drops the price under bucks. Yeah. That, yeah I guess it that's... seems so strange to me that they released the 2DS because there's no way to protect the screens now. <laughs> yeah. Like part of uh, the, the, the DS and the 3DS the is you would, shell you would close in a clamshell and yep. protect the screens, but now it's just one flat it's Dang, it's basically like, literally a tablet with a plastic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just separating the two two halves of the screen. Very, I think somebody. I, I want to say I read an article where somebody like cut that thing off, and it is indeed like one screen. <laughs> oh wow, really? Yeah, but I, That's I, terrible. I do agree with you, Tom. This like the Wii U. I'll, I'll talk more about this in my predictions because oh. I also oh. talked about it, but. Um, like I've I've only really seen a Wii U once in person that I've played. Mm -hmm. And I was playing um, the new Super Mario Brothers game. Right. Okay. Um, Mario Brothers 3D or something? Or whatever No, it this is. is a 2D one, yeah, right? Yeah, the, 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 oh, the, 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 oh, the right, side-scroller. Uh, side-scroller, right, yes. Right. Um, and it seems so strange to me because the person who had the tablet couldn't really play along with the rest of the players. Like, oh, weird. Um, I don't know if maybe it was just set up that way. Maybe it's different. You can change it. But, like, yeah. all they could do is just, like, put power-ups into the game for the other players to <laughs> oh, use. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that, that goes to the uh, Dungeon & Dragon type. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's sort of yeah. a, a Dungeon Master. Player. Yeah. Um, and if they changed it so you could actually use it to play the game, maybe other maybe other games for the Wii U. I've, I've, yeah. I have to say I haven't played many. Then it might may not be a bad idea or 
Yeah. But I don't really know. Zoe and me were at Best Boy Best Buy last night. Best boy. Best boy. <laughs> Best boy. Nope. Um, it I just cannot talk tonight. They help oh. the grip. That's what they do. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> so and what does the grip do? No. Uh, <laughs> I know what he does. But um no, they we were we were playing uh Sonic and Mario at 2014 Sochi. Oh man, they Olympics. keep they keep releasing those games. I love Til them. The end of the I think they're so much fun. Yeah, I, I love seeing. I haven't played them. I love seeing uh, the Koopas and uh, Doctor Robotnik or whatever <laughs> yeah. his name is. Eggman. Um, Eggman. Yeah, I love seeing them compete against each other. It's <laughs> so much fun. And of course, Sonic and Mario yeah. together fighting, uh, competing is great. But anyways, um, I was playing Sonic. We were doing downhill uh, snowboarding. And uh, I was playing Sonic, Zoe was playing Mario, and I was on the the tablet, and she was on the controllers, and I, it was actually it was a good experience. Yeah. I, I liked mm-hmm. it. Um, it was weird though because you had to look down at the screen. You had to keep the screen flat, yeah, mm-hmm. because you're you know that's how you controlled the sur- the uh, snowboard. Okay. So that was kind of weird. I couldn't see myself on the screen because mm-hmm. she had the screen and I was on the tablet. Um, so it was definitely an odd experience. Yeah. Uh, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was it was fun to play. Uh, I mean, that's I'll, all that I've I'll, played with it. I will say for Nintendo, like they when they come up with these gimmicks, but then they really do try and get good gameplay out of them. Yeah. But it yeah. feels like they're just not getting there with the tablet yeah, idea. Exactly. You know. All right. Moving on from that sad story. Uh, <laughs> number four. Someone will make a smartwatch that is not completely stupid. <laughs> and uh, you know, I I wrote this, and it turns out. Ray is wearing I, his really awesome Pebble Watch today. It's pretty so awesome, yeah. I, I like would say it. my prediction has already come true. I, Bam, points I have to, to me. Say, I love that two of your predictions so far is someone will make something that is not completely stupid. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, there was one app I forgot to tell you guys about. It's so much fun. It actually turns your Pebble Watch into an Inspector Gadget uh, Penny Watch. Oh, nice. Um, with, so, with your smartphone, though, it, you have to have a smartphone, too. But it lets you control the camera. It's called Pebble Cam. It's really uh-huh. creative. Mm-hmm. So you can see on my screen the whatever my phone is doing the picture of. Oh. It's really terrible. Because, I mean, yeah. this is an E display. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not rezzing fast. And it's going uh, wow. across the Bluetooth. I'm, That's funny. I, I'm a little disappointed. I thought you meant that Penny would show up on your... <laughs> Penny shows up and talks. <laughs> and brain. <laughs> and brain, yes. Um, but it is, is kind of goofy. But, you know... Uh, on Christmas Day, I went to Walgreens, and they had this cheap $15 uh, clicker. Mm-hmm. It was a Bluetooth clicker that would control your camera. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've been wanting one of those forever. Turns out you have to download this app, and it only mm. works for the app, and pfft, garbage. Yeah. So I wasted 15 bucks. But this, actually, this app does it also. Hmm. And it the app does other things, too. Okay. So I was like, that's much better. That's cool. Yeah. All what right. you got next? Uh, things that are completely ridiculous will be given Wi-Fi connections, like toasters. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's the whole Internet of Things, right? That's what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, we are moving. We talked on, I think, the last episode about the Nest uh, yeah, thermostat yeah. controller. Nest is coming out with something else. I don't know what it is. It's a smoke detector. Yeah. It's um, very cool, the Nest Protect. So, <laughs> you know, we are moving to that connected house sort of yeah. thing <laughs> um, that may happen with your toaster you know i was looking at home depot's website for uh home automation stuff because mm-hmm. i'm actually looking at getting a nest and they had this egg thing egg thing you take your eggs out you put them in this container mm-hmm. and they tell you when they've gone bad huh. to what? your smartphone what i kid you not it keeps track of when you put the egg in that spot. Yeah. It holds like a dozen and a half for some reason. Okay. Um, I guess because that way you can buy a dozen eggs and put them all in yeah, there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you're never out of the eggs. Uh, it's so weird because it communicates with your smartphone yeah. over Wi-Fi. Tells you, that, well, you have this many eggs. And this many were bought two months ago. You need to get more eggs. So <laughs> you get I notifications. Want. So you can get notifications on your iPhone that go to your Pebble Watch yeah. that you're out of <laughs> eggs. So, so your iPhone's going to go off at like 3 a.m. and you're going to be like, oh no, my you're eggs out went of eggs. <laughs> Wow. It is really, really weird. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of that in the coming year, I predict. A lot of that weird, oh, yeah. pointless yeah. crap. It's the, it's the Wink Egg Minder Smart Egg Tray. <laughs> 
and it's seventy dollars. And, and you know, wink, we are bad mouthing it, but you can change our minds by sending us. Yeah, a, I was uh, just about to say, <laughs> I'll try it. To try it out. We, we'll try it out. Yeah, we'll we'll be happy to. Uh, we'll we'll all buy some AIDS, give That's them right. to Ray. <laughs> Ray, take care of my AIDS for me. Let me know when they go bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll give it a shot. You know, okay. but it's fun because you on your smartphone you can pull up and you're like. Oh, I got I got eighteen eggs. <laughs> I like the idea that you might get a notification on your watch, like you're talking to somebody, your watch goes off, and you're like, "Oh no, my eggs are going bad." <laughs> Dang it! I gotta go buy more eggs. Excuse me. You excuse just, me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you just get out of that conversation. <laughs> I'm wrong. It's actually fourteen eggs. Uh, not, not no, 18 that's a eggs. weird number. Yeah, it that is. is an odd number. I think. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's very strange. Actually, it's an even number. <laughs> That's All right, true. well, I'm going to move on to my next prediction. Uh, I predict that new encrypted Internet technologies will be introduced that will replace old ones. And the first online service that's going to get this kind of makeover is uh, this privacy overhaul. It will be email. We're going to see a new kind of email that's private. I, mm -hmm. I fully agree with you on that one. Uh, now that this stuff has come out, that NSA apparently got yeah. their hands involved in... Mm -hmm much of the encryption technology that's out there. Well, that's absolutely what's going to drive it. Because, you know, these people, the people that are really up in arms about the NSA surveillance are pretty much the people that helped develop Internet technology in the first yeah. place. And so those people are starting to put their heads together and be like, you know, what can we build that will not allow this yeah. kind of intrusion? Um, and email is something, an email in particular is extremely hard to secure. It's just the way it was designed... Mm -hmm. It's very, very difficult to encrypt. You really have to be an expert user and know what you're doing, and yeah. the other person has to use various software. So somebody's going to come up with something that will basically not be email because it won't even use the same right. protocols, but it will serve the same function. It will be completely encrypted, and it will, you know... Yeah. It'll be email 2.0. That's the biggest thing is, you know... And, and when we first, when this first started coming out and you were talking about it, I'm like, oh, get your tinfoil hat out. You're fine, you know. <laughs> but the more that's come out about this, you know, it does really infringe on freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. Because if you, now if you know that the government is listening to every word you say, it mm -hmm. you know, will affect what you say. Yeah. Because not, you know, if, yeah, if you're doing something illegal, you know, you don't have to worry about it. If you're not doing something illegal, you don't have to worry about it. That's not true. Yeah. It if you're doing something if you're not doing something that's illegal right now, mm -hmm. then you're fine. Yeah. What if somebody but, decided that the religion you belong to is a terrorist organization exactly. or whatever? You yeah. Know, it could be something, or you've somehow been flagged by an automated system as a suspect or a connection. Right. To, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a big problem. It's like I've seen uh, somebody wearing a t-shirt. You know, you're not paranoid. They are watching you. <laughs> you know. It's, yeah. It's and, you know, somebody in The Atlantic wrote an article, and they were talking about this. You know, this has been going on for several years, and we didn't know about it. But it was going on during the 2012 election. And if they're vacuuming up, for instance, everybody's call logs and emails, there's no question they must have gotten Mitt Romney's information. Oh, yeah. And so you have the administration in power with access to private privilege information about their, you know, competition in the election. That's yeah, scary. Mm -hmm. It is. I'm not saying anything was done that was illegal. Right. I'm saying the possibility was there, and it will continue to be there going forward. And and I'll go so far as to say I'm pretty sure nothing happened. I would mm -hmm. I would say emphatically nothing happened. But you think that the Watergate was bad, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. nothing compared to the scandal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that'll just be... the temptation knowing we already have this information. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, should I use it? Mm -hmm. Exactly. How, how does it compare to uh, Bridgegate? <laughs> everything that's going on with uh, Governor Chris Christie that's right now. That's just weird. I don't know anything about like, that. Why would you? Oh, oh my gosh, you don't? Well, no. let's, uh, let's, uh, I'm we'll, sorry I brought we'll it up. That. Let's, okay. let's, let's do that. Yeah, save that show. for post show. Okay. Post show. Okay. So Google search Bridgegate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no tech angle, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, fine. All right, okay. what else you got? Well, uh, I'm pretty sure that the first marriage between man and machine will occur <laughs> when Siri ties the knot with a human who looks strangely like Joaquin Phoenix. Hmm. Why Joaquin Phoenix? <laughs> I, it, it's yeah. It's a it's a film that is out right now oh, called she, Her. 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 Yeah. yeah. Her. Her. Um, <laughs> her. I saw what? I saw Him? somebody made a fake uh, poster <laughs> that had um, Anne from uh, Arrested Development on it, and it was the <laughs> same thing, but it had a question mark on it. Uh, George Michael's uh, <laughs> girlfriend for a while. Yeah. Oh, the the. Uh, uh, I don't she, remember her the name. The actress. Um, she was in uh, no, um, various things, but but she, her, the joke in the show is she's so plain that people don't notice her even when yeah. she's right in front oh, of them. Anne. Anne, oh, yeah. oh, Anne! Oh, yeah, Anne! His yeah. dad calls her egg by accident all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
And anytime that he that George Michael says like oh, like I'm really I really like Anne or something like that, everyone always goes her. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's hilarious. <laughs> nice. All right. The next uh, next prediction is that in an effort, oh, another NSA one. In uh-huh. an effort to boost its public image, the NSA will debut the popular app Words with Surveillance Operatives. <laughs> I play it. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's good stuff. <laughs> That's um, kind of like the, uh, you know, oh, crap, my computer crashed. Well, NSA's got a backup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they, they intercept, apparently, for some reason, the Microsoft error reports. Hmm. Ah, because why not? Yeah, why not? Moving on. Good information in those error reports. Yeah, maybe they'll actually be able to solve <laughs> yeah. some of those problems. And all of our listeners just stop sending Microsoft <laughs> error reports. <laughs> They're not encrypted, apparently. Yeah, there you go. Uh, number nine, people will stop caring about Bitcoin. Hmm. Really? Yeah. You just think it's going to you know, fizzle out? There are now all these... Uh, I mean, it's, it has already jumped the shark. I'm serious. Like, There's uh, the Reddit influence coin, Doggy Coin. Uh, somebody's <laughs> yeah. coming out with uh, Coinye. <laughs> Coinye, yes, yes. I saw that the what? other day. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's just not okay. There is actually a form you can now fill out. You can go to a website, fill out a form, and it will generate your own uh, digital encrypted currency <laughs> that you customize. So this has way jumped to the shark. Um, wow. And the point is, and what I went back to earlier, like it's not, it's not stable. I'm, I'm sorry, libertarians, but currencies do need a centralized governing authority yeah. just to be stable. It's just I, it's I just, a requirement. I think that they'll be able to regulate it. I think that you know it'll just, maybe if not if not Bitcoin, something else. They'll be able to regulate and and get it to where. But it's, it's just stable. you know it. Okay, it's worth a lot. I'm not going to dispute that. But it sure. absolutely failed as a currency. You're not going to buy. Let's say your pizza place took Bitcoin. Actually, I found this out uh, last week. <laughs> There's a gun place in Jacksonville that takes Bitcoin. Hmm. I that doesn't terribly surprise me. You know what you're not going to do with your Bitcoin? What? Buy a gun. <laughs> you're going to hang on to it because it's worth eight hundred dollars today. It might be worth nine hundred dollars tomorrow. Whereas a That's gun true. is still going to be worth whatever you paid for it in the first place. The thing is, like a currency that goes up so fast, you're not mm-hmm. going to use to buy things, which is the point of a currency. That's it's true. It's a nice speculative kind of thing if you're in stocks. I mean, but I, I, how much how much uh, volume was there in transactions for 2013 in, in oh, Bitcoin? I have no idea. Any idea? Yeah, I'm I'm curious. But the, about I do that. know that like something like uh, 70 or 80 percent of all Bitcoin has never been traded or. Hmm. Used in a transaction. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Yeah. That is not good. People are just holding on to it. And, you know, I, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on the show before, but uh, that is the second time I found out that I lost my chance to be a, a millionaire. No, oh, you had Bitcoin? I had bit. Uh, actually, I had the chance to mine Bitcoin, um, and uh, Amber, my wife, convinced me not to do it. Oh, it's <laughs> her fault then. It is, it is really her fault. <laughs> <laughs> She knows it is. She actually she read the story in, about the the German guy who lost uh, mm-hmm. millions of dollars worth on his hard drive, and she's like, "Because what happened was when we were dating, mm-hmm. uh, we found Boardwalk, and you know the mon- Monopoly game at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. She found we found Boardwalk, and then we found Park Place. Oh wow! And when we found Boardwalk, I knew every other year Boardwalk was the winning one you had to have to get the million dollars. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, they must have changed it to Park Place this year. It's no big deal. So I didn't pay attention to it. I didn't cherish it like the the, the <laughs> piece of miracle that it was. And we lost it. So no. we lost a million dollars. No. Um, so she said that we're finally even. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she caused us to lose millions on Bitcoin. So there you go. All right, you guys need to get your act together because yeah. I definitely want a millionaire friend. <laughs> yeah. All right, my you too. and uh, my final prediction for 2014 is that an international incident will occur when a drone gets confused and accidentally delivers a Hellfire missile to an Amazon Prime customer. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. I hope that I'm that customer. <laughs> I hope that didn't happen. <laughs> well, does Amazon sell? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's totally a joke. Oh, okay. The Amazon yeah. drone thing. I, yeah. I believe so it. I was bogus. like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think that I, I think that we will definitely see more drones in 2014. Sure, absolutely. It's a um, it's a thing that's going to happen. I just don't think there's any cost effective way to replace a guy in a truck with a truck yeah. full of packages. Yeah, and that's there's, true. There's so much that they have to work out with the FAA oh, yeah. and everything like that. 
All right. Well, Sean, we have no idea what your predictions yeah, are. Yeah, I know. I you did, did not share them with I us. I did not share them. I will say that five of these are real predictions. Okay. Five of them are not. Oh, see, you guess? followed the directions. I will see. You guys have to <laughs> guess which ones oh, we have to guess which are ones joke are. <laughs> predictions. <laughs> I will say right now, it'll be very easy. Okay. Um, okay. My very first uh, prediction is uh, it's a softball. Uh, <laughs> just like you guys did. Apple will release probably a new iPhone. What? Or Ooh. possibly an entirely new device, maybe an iWatch or Apple TV, because I was thinking mm-hmm. uh, the iPhone turns seven years old yeah. this year. Oh, that's right. The iPad turns four this year. Mm. Wow. It's been a while since they've released something new. Mm-hmm. I know they released the iPad Air or whatever it was sure, last right. year. Yeah, it's um, nice. It's just another iPad. Yeah, it's just it another is. iPad. When will they release something entirely new? You yeah. know, I, I was listening to, again, Tech News Today about this, and um, Tom Merritt, who was the, the old host, he predicted the iPad Pro. Hmm. So you know how there's, like, the MacBook, Ac- yeah. MacBook Air, yeah. MacBook Pro? He was saying, you know, by calling it the iPad Air, they left open a spot oh, they, they're setting for it an up. iPad Pro. Hmm. Now, what that would look like, who knows? Maybe yeah. it's going to have OS X on it instead of iOS. Um, It'll look like uh, Darth Vader's trash can, <laughs> like the new uh, uh, iMac, yeah. <laughs> or so, whatever it was, the Mac Pro. Yeah, the, yeah, Mac, the new the Mac, Mac Pro. Pro. Yeah. Um, so that would be interesting if they did that. Mm-hmm. Um, but that would be a weird uh, You know, there's already place. been... Uh, there's the uh, the Surface Pro from Microsoft, right? Which mm. runs Windows and has which, an Intel chip. chip the Surface inside. Pro is really nice. The sure. Surface is bleh. yeah. If you got a thousand plus dollars, <laughs> the around. former the formerly Windows RT, yeah, which hmm. is bleh. and then um, Samsung at CES has a some kind of Pro tablet, which is freaking twelve inches. Wow, yeah. twelve inch. Yeah, that's huge. That's no and it's it's widescreen, right? Uh, no, it's more rectangular, it port- more square, it, uh, kinda, yeah, okay. uh, not quite square, but you know, more of an iPad type form factor, okay. but yeah, it stopped working in Michael Bay at the legal stage. <laughs> <laughs> I understand she's uh, feeling bad to that. I'm sorry. Guys. It's always a good fallback plan. <laughs> um, but you know, once you get into 12 inches, it's like, well, that's basically a laptop screen. So why not yeah, just have a keyboard a, attached yeah, to yeah. it? You just yeah. add like two more inches and you have a, a 15 inch a uh, laptop there so like. well you know t- speaking of going back to the ipad pro th- pro thing i would love to see a big screen ipad mm-hmm. for you know for blueprints and uh, oh, yeah. stuff like yeah. that yeah where you need a bigger screen because hmm. that's the one thing that, that there isn't really a good big screen tablet right now yeah so all right okay. sean what's uh, number two right. number two uh i think it's the year Google's gonna buy Apple. <laughs> I think it's gonna happen this year. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I'm guessing that's one of the joke predictions. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it is. Because <laughs> they have, they don't. I mean, as huge as Google is, they don't have enough money to buy yeah, Apple. I, I don't think that. Remember They'll, when Apple was the underdog? Yeah. Remember when they were scrapping to yeah, get Microsoft, by? Yep. And the yeah, and, and Bill Gates did that video presentation, <laughs> and he was huge above <laughs> Steve Jobs. <laughs> it I was a like I've I've heard that really uh, wasn't it. Kind of Bill Gates really helped Apple come back. That's the reason why Apple still yeah. Yeah, didn't, yeah. He, yeah, didn't yeah. he give them money? Yeah, they they invested a ton of non voting stock. Yeah, uh, into Apple, and they're the only reason why Apple's still around. But they Microsoft. they they got like uh, <laughs> wasn't Apple like suing them for like patents or. Yeah, they were, like they were going back and forth. So over, they got yeah. out of that by giving them money or, or yeah. something like that. Yep. Um, all right, next prediction. Uh, prediction. Prediction? Prediction. <laughs> Road to prediction. <laughs> Road to prediction. Uh, 2014 <laughs> is a year of hell. <laughs> My next <laughs> prediction. Um, I think the Steam console will oh. finally be released this year. Uh, for people who don't know, Didn't Steam get... is uh, uh, it's a gaming service. Uh, I don't think I'm going to describe this correct, but... Um, it's owned by Valve, mm-hmm. uh, which makes uh, games like uh, Half Life and Portal, uh, and it's a it's a service where you can buy games, and it's entirely online, and you can download games, and mm-hmm. uh, you can play it through their clients and uh, interact with the community and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yep. And they've yeah, been you got it. they've been promising for a while that they would 
release a console for you to play Steam games yeah. on. Right now, you can play Steam games on your computer. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you could hook up your PC to your TV and you'd be able to play. That's what I do. Uh, but having a console that's devoted to that, uh, you could basically download, play th- thousands of games on it. Yeah. And, you know, Steam games are very cheap. Yeah, typically. Uh, they, oh, yeah. Especially have, the sales. They have incredible sales where you can buy games for less than $10, less than $5 sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, I think it'll happen this year. At least I'm hoping it'll happen this year because I would really like that. Yeah. But everything that I've seen, like, I, I saw, like, somebody talking about it, and they're, they're thinking that, you know, it'll be released and it'll be $1,000 to buy one of these I, things. I so. think you you actually get that prediction. We can call it right now. Yeah? It's been it's been done. Uh, uh, they, they, well, they are, kind of. They are kind of. working on it. Um, well, CES, they've unveiled 13 Steam boxes. Yeah? The yeah. Steam bots, yes. That's yep. what they're calling it, yeah. But, uh, I mean, they're not for general retail yet. Um, yeah, but they're supposed to be released around June. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, so there's no hard and firm date for release yet. But, but the OS is yeah. is out there. Um, they've built, they've coded it or whatever. Uh, and, and then obviously somebody's working on hardware. A lot of people are working yeah. on hardware. Alienware so. is doing one. Yeah. That's Unfortunately, cool. what you're just saying that they cost <laughs> a lot. It looks like so far, you know, they're they're competitive with a gaming computer. Right. They're yeah. not really competitive with the with Xbox One. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Um, so but, that's gonna be the trick. That's 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 what I hope. Yeah, I don't know if it, that's probably a, a hope more than a prediction that I'll be so. able to play games through a Steam bots, but you know. Uh, so okay. you, mean, you mean specifically one from Valve? No, well, just yeah. Valve or, is uh, basically outsourcing the hardware. Yeah, I, isn't I, there one they're doing themselves though? They did a prototype themselves, the Valve but I don't machine. know if that's going to lead to. And uh, I, I will a say <laughs> right now that I wrote this list. Uh, weeks ago. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Before okay. CES, so uh, yeah, I I didn't know that uh, they had yeah. announced that. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I already got one right. Boom! In the so can. far, he's I'm the, in the only lead. one. I'm the only one. <laughs> hey, my smartwatch prediction. Huh? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Who, knew, there who knew I'd walk in with one? <laughs> Which I wrote wrote before I saw Ray this yeah, evening. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Fair um, enough. Okay, so next, I'll, I'll take it. My next one, my next prediction for the year. Amazon will announce that they have developed Star Trek-like transporter technology to deliver packages <laughs> even faster than drones. <laughs> will they get an happen. entire episode of sixty minutes? <laughs> <laughs> they will. I love that. And you'll be able to you'll be able to order something on Amazon Prime. And go into the next room. It'll be right there. <laughs> oh my gosh! But you have to be a Prime member. Yeah, yeah, you have to be a Prime member because when you're a Prime member, not only will you get online streaming, but you'll also get a teleportation <laughs> yeah, pad. Yeah, yeah. Which exactly. you have to well, have in they your have house. to. You have to so the Amazon drones are called Amazon Prime Air. What's the teleportation? Oh, I called? have no idea. Uh, Prime, Prime Beam. Yeah, Prime Beam. <laughs> Prime Beam. Prime it's hard to say. Shirt. Prime Beam. Prime, Prime beam. beam. Prime Beam. Amazon Beam. And then if you have a problem, you can just you can just head back to the factory and be like, <laughs> "This is Seriously. broken." Yeah. <laughs> Come Seriously. on, guys, get it together. Come on. This this thing you teleported directly into my house is not working. <laughs> yeah, because that will be the first person who teleports. Because he didn't read the instructions that yeah. said not for human use. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and they just show up in the warehouse. I saw a great thing talking about the Amazon drones. Like They were like, the problem with the Amazon drone will be the first time that a 12-year-old realizes that he, he can ride one back to Candyland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. This one comes with toys? I'm getting it. Ah! <laughs> it's carried away by the drone. <laughs> I don't think it could carry a 12-year-old, but I could totally see Zoe riding on it, holding on. <laughs> oh, that'd be Storm bad. back to a, a depressing factory. <laughs> so It's just full of Chinese kids. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I Redacted. Go to that dark place. <laughs> Redacted. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you got next, Sean? <laughs> okay, my next one. That one was fake. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, no. This one is real. I think, going along with what you were saying, Tom, mm-hmm. I think Nintendo will significantly drop the price of the Wii U. Um, I, they need to. Yeah, it's hmm. it's kind of been a blunder for them. They just, you know, I think they, they made a major mistake with not differentiating it enough from the original Wii. Mm-hmm. Like I can see a lot of people looking at it and going, "Oh, well, that's just a Wii." Like yeah. you know, besides the 
With a you tablet. Know, the tablet and the fact that it is an HD console, mm-hmm. it's not that different. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, I I hope they drop it. I would I would love to have one. Sure. You know, I I'm always going to want to play the next Zelda game that comes out. Exactly. And since it's only a Nintendo property, you know, mm-hmm. I have to have one. But yeah, I just I don't think they've they've done a great job with it. Yeah. And it seems like it's not had too many killer games. I know they have the side-scrolling Mario, but there hasn't been the 3D Mario, which you yeah. expect. There hasn't been yeah. the new Zelda. There hasn't been yeah. stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, they've they've announced it, and they've had like Arkham Asylum or mm-hmm. Arkham. One of the Arkham. Arkham uh, There's two City, I think. Yeah. Um, but you know they're years behind the other consoles right, at this right. point. Um, if they're just getting those games, uh, so yeah, I, I think. It's going to be a lot cheaper. And they, they dropped the price of the Wii mm-hmm. pretty fast after that came out. Um, yeah, it was you know, two fifty for a while. Yeah, it, it was, but... Um, I mean, the Wii was an unbelievably hot seller you know, like, the, during its lifetime. The Wii U, it's it's almost two years old. It'll be two yeah, years old this crazy. year, uh, later this year, but... Yeah, I mean, I think the thing is, like, at this point, like... I was hearing crazy stories about people's grandmothers buying Wiis. I can't yeah. name a single person, hardcore gamer or not, that owns a Wii U. Exactly. Yeah. Like, the Wii was so popular when it came out because, you know, it was a very democratic mm-hmm. gaming console. It was for console. everybody. Anybody you didn't have to know how to play yeah, games. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And this one's... Not so much. Not yeah, I so mean, much. it's it's not that different, but the not whole so tablet much. thing mm-hmm. really does make a, a huge difference with yeah. it. Hmm. Um, okay, my next one... Microsoft will release the MS DOS phone. I think that's coming. <laughs> no, that's that's, that's awesome. great because before the show, uh, Sean brought me the the most beautiful the be- beautiful present ever. DOS for Dummies Second Edition, uh, which was the very first computer book I ever read. I, I don't think I don't even know if you knew that. No. Um, but yeah, it was it was how I learned how to to do DOS. Well, and, uh, you're gonna need it for the DOS phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. You're just, <laughs> you pull out your smartphone; it's got just a blinking prompt. <laughs> you'll, you'll finally be able to play Maniac uh, Mansion and oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Dave the Tentacle on your phone. And and uh, where in the world's Carmen San Diego? <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh, yeah. And Oregon Trail. And uh, and uh, all those Apogee <laughs> shareware games, man. Yeah. You're gonna be able to play Monty uh, Monty Island. Yes. All the Monty Island games on there. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> Okay, that will have an app store. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yes, yes but it'll be like der app store dot star is how you get to it. There will be, but you will have a floppy disk. Yeah, it'll they'll <laughs> ship you they'll ship you a floppy. <laughs> <laughs> they'll ship you a floppy. It'll be not one of the small ones, it'll be one of those the giant ones. Oh the five and a five and a quarters. But they'll nice. have a little NFC chip in them. Yeah, so you yeah. swipe the floppy. <laughs> no, you it'll come with a a, a separate floppy drive, floppy drive that you have to plug into your phone. Nice. Nice. Um, nice, yeah. I think that's going to be a big hit. You yeah. know, I was at, I, I bought a CD, an external CD uh, burner, <laughs> and I saw that they had external floppy disks. Oh, yeah. Really? I'm like, why? Who's no one's trying to put them, them in. It's like, yeah. well, you got some old disk. But at, okay, at this point, like, the problem is floppy disks are lifespans are going bad yeah, fast. Yeah. Exactly. But you're certainly not going to find an internal floppy drive around, and oh, it's yeah. got an old disk no. that you need to get access to. But I mean, there were as many blue external Blu-rays, external DVDs, and <laughs> the same number of external floppies at uh, uh, Tiger Direct. It's just uh, <laughs> it's just That's hip, weird. It's just hipsters. They're buying them. <laughs> <laughs> They're going back to floppies. Yeah, I only use floppies. They're better for the environment. I don't know why, but I think they are. Uh, okay, that one was obviously a joke. Um, I hope so. <laughs> this one, uh, I think we've all touched on tonight. The smartwatch thing. People yeah. are someone's gonna get it right this year. Yeah, I think um, so. And we'll start seeing more of those. Yeah. I think we've already talked that to death. So yeah, we've... I'll just move on. Um my next one, I think uh going back to Google, I think after purchasing several robotics companies mm-hmm. in the past mm-hmm. year, oh no. Google will finally announce its Skynet <laughs> division. <laughs> They um, it would not surprise me if they have a Skynet division <laughs> headed up by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Just because they have that much, that kind of sense of humor, you know, I, to do stuff like I, that. I hope they do. That would be awesome. It would be pretty great. <laughs> you know, uh, I had never seen this. You've seen Terminator Three, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a deleted scene 
where they are talking about their new product, which is a robot, and they're like, and we, mo- it's like this commercial, and it's like we modeled it after one of our employees, and the employees Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've seen that. I've seen and that. And then, and then he like opens his mouth and he like talks about it. And he's got like this terrible like country or southern yeah, they, accent. Yeah, they, they dubbed and him And somebody's over. like. We got to fix that voice. And then, like, there's another guy in the room who's like, yes, I have a good idea. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> that was uh, awesome. Sorry. I have not seen that. I yeah, guess. Awesome. You can find it on YouTube, I believe. That's okay. probably the best part of that movie. <laughs> I wow. thought it was an okay movie. Yeah, yeah. it's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> moving on. Um, <laughs> no, one, let's talk about Terminator 3. <laughs> this one, I... That's the rest of the podcast. Um, full disclosure, uh, I have some insider knowledge about this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, there will be Deemable Tech <gasps> radio specials. <gasps> Boom! I'm just going to say right now, I don't know when, <laughs> but, <laughs> but there will be Deemable Tech full hour radio specials. That's maybe cool. On the radio. Maybe you'll hear it on your radio on station, your radio. public radio station. If you're here in Jacksonville, most likely you will hear <laughs> a Deemable Tech hour long radio yep. special. You, Actually, heard, you heard it here first, kids. Four. Actually, four. I'm going to yeah. call four. I, four? That's very specific. I'm okay four with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yep. It's super exciting. We uh, we actually have uh, we have that lined up. We are going to be on the radio. I mean, we're on the radio now, but uh, we're going to have a full hour long show. And on the hour long show, we're not going to just randomly talk about tech stuff. <laughs> and Terminator. <laughs> and Terminator. And Unless once, that's what you want. And once email. upon a time. Just let, us, just let us know. Yeah. And once upon a time and Edward Snowden. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, answer your tech questions. Uh, but we might talk about Edward Snowden, too. <laughs> yeah. His, uh, his guest appearance on Once Upon a Time. <laughs> Edward Snowden's really going to be putting in these celebrity appearances in 2014, apparently. Um, He's going to be in the Olympics. He's going to be in Once Upon a Time. We're definitely going to do an episode the week of Black Friday. Yes, definitely. There's this other holiday that falls that same week. Um, uh, 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 Turkey. uh, Thanksgiving. uh, Turkey Day. Turkey Turkey Day. Day, Yeah. Also so, known as Thanksgiving. So one time that week, um, that is one you'll definitely want to tune in to either to the podcast and to <laughs> either and to <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the radio show uh, because we'll do like we did last or actually the year before last where we covered all the big sales and let you know where to go to get mm-hmm. the best deals yeah. for Black Friday. Um, and I'm not sure when we're going to do the other ones. Yeah, we'll we'll we're gonna spread them out. Yeah, Valentine's or, Day, you know, so, gotta have a big Valentine's Day. Tech yeah. Tech. yeah, I'm kidding. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> That's random. Sure. Now I do have one more prediction. Un mas, okay. un mas. Um, more info about Star Wars Episode Seven will come uh. out, and people will be upset about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not everyone. I'm already some, upset. Some right people now. will be upset about it. You know, actually. Uh, and this is a minor, minor thing, unless you're a huge geek. And I mean, I'm a pretty huge geek, and yeah, I still don't care. Well, uh, uh. Just look at who you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> they, but some uh, one of the screenwriters or something for the new Star Wars uh, told said in an interview that the uh, extended universe, which is basically the books, mm-hmm. uh, will not be canon anymore. They're going to oh, give themselves really? carte blanche to overwrite that. Yeah. I oh. didn't even know that that was canon. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. that's completely canon. Extended universe. Or it, Specifically? Yeah. That, yep. that, they call uh, it the extended universe, and there are several characters they, that actually appear huh? only in the EU, quote unquote. Or the uh, expanded universe. It's yeah, maybe, it's one of yeah, those. One of yeah. those. It's um, EU. That's yeah, all of those were, uh, were canon, all of those books. Really? Um, wow. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Because other genres, I mean, not other genres, other uh, titles, but they mm-hmm. never consider books. Yeah, or in Star comics. Trek, for instance, they do right. not. But in, in Star they Wars, they actually know. have mostly because if you think about it, you know, I know the prequels are in the rearview mirror now, but it was 30 <laughs> years between the originals and the prequels. Sure. So basically, people were operating under the assumption there would be no more new movies. So books were yeah. kind of what you had. So comic books yeah. in Star Wars, in uh, regular books, and uh, those, wow. those counted, basically. Yeah. But no more. And it makes huh. sense because, you know, they need to give them... It, there's so many books out, and they couldn't possibly respect the <laughs> continuity of all that, you know. Exactly. Yeah, because... But predictably, there are some people that are a little miffed. Because, I mean, not the... In the comics, of course, we know how, how Han Solo died. What? He died on Earth. No. Yeah. Mm. You didn't know that? That's, no, I had no clue. He. Um, I've only ever read... There was a... The first trilogy of books to come out, mm-hmm. which was... Um, Guy's last name starts with a Z. And it's Zahn. Kind of, Zahn. Timothy Zahn. Thank you. Yes. I read his uh, trilogy, which I think is the Thrawn trilogy, which is pretty decent. 
That's the only thing I've ever read, though, yeah. in the extended uh, universe. I kid you not, in this comic book, uh, Indiana Jones <laughs> yeah. is on the hunt for... has a, a, Really? Has a feasible lead on Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes to investigate the scene of a crash of a large vessel, and he finds Chewbacca... <laughs> <laughs> who is has been protecting the bones of Han Solo for hundreds of years. Okay. Because he died hundreds of years ago, but you know, Chewie's still alive. And uh he lives in the crash at the crash site of the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, this this says that it uh, that it is non-canon. <laughs> it's not canon. Oh, it's disappointing, oh, let me man. tell you. <laughs> but that is awesome. And it I'm is. going I'm going to have to let you uh, it's trolled into the great unknown. Yep. And uh, it's, it's from Dark Horse Comments, which yeah. uh, releases all of the Star Wars, or did so release all the Star Pick up your copy Wars. today, kids, because I know, yeah, don't the, know about you, but... The Indiana Jones Star Wars crossover the kill is Han almost Solo. as good as the Doctor Who Star Trek Next yeah. Generation yeah. <laughs> crossover <laughs> this, comic uh, book. This, uh, um, this is the uh, uh, Star Wars... Uh, Wikipedia page about it. <laughs> Wikipedia, kind of a, yes. you know, a small Wikipedia all about Love Star it. Wars. Um, they have a quote from uh, another site called IO9, which uh, yes. covers a lot of uh, cool subjects like this. Uh, and they say the lost Indiana Jones Star Wars crossover was really depressing. It, it was pretty depressing. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's terrible. <laughs> all right, but it's fun, you know. Well, and on that note, on, on that, that note. note I guess we're done. I think we're done. That is our prediction show. Can't top that. So, uh, you know, we a lot of predictions. Wow, we had 30 all, to, all together, all yeah, three we, of us. We might want to write, uh, so, write these down. Yep, I so did. Can... I wrote them. Oh, I wrote ours down. Yeah, so we don't have yours. He wrote. Yeah, we, yeah. You need you to write yours down. <laughs> this will be the only record of them. <laughs> I think next year we're going to do five each. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that was a little long. Yeah. But I if, hope, if, hope you had fun. I yeah, hope you enjoyed you, it. If you made it through this hour and a half uh, episode... <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Hour and a half. Wow. Yeah, this is hour and a half. All right. Well, let's wrap it up. Thanks for all your questions. Um, and send them to us. You know the number, one 972 9868 Or you can send us an email at questions at deemable.com. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the show. Search for Deemable Tech on iTunes, YouTube, and Facebook and Twitters. And follow us or subscribe. Our producer is Sean Birch. I'm Ray Hollister. I'm Tom Braun. And this is Deemable Tech. Thanks for listening and have a great year. Thank you.